Aloha to everybody this Sunday morning. Um, we have good news to report. The eruption still um, is at an extremely low level at this point, and it's contained within the cinder cone at the fissure three vent. Uh, there is still some vent activity in the backside of the cone overnight, uh, suggesting that there's still a little bit of activity in the lava pond that built in there yesterday. And then on the outside of the cone, there is a hole in the cone that is incandescent and lighting up the fume cloud at night. So it makes that fairly visible up on the hillside. Uh, but other than that, there are no lava flows that were active outside of the cone um, overnight. So it is no longer producing lava that is moving outside and down the mountain. And uh, this is consistent with what we see on our instruments. About two days ago, earthquakes started dropping off at the summit, and they're down at very low levels now. And the same thing with volcanic tremor, which is a vibration induced by having fresh magma come up to the vent. And so we're seeing almost no tremor, which is consistent with the fact that we're only seeing very, very small amounts of upwelling in that small lava pond that's trapped within the vent area. So we believe the eruption is winding down right now. There is a possibility that it could continue at very, very low effusion rates, but it would have to ramp slightly back up. There's no possibility of it returning to the very high effusion rate, uh, big fountains and large lava flows uh, that we had over the past couple of weeks. So we're still watching this. We don't have a lot of information about prior flows um, that switched from this high fountain activity down to this low effusion rate activity. Those The last one was 1935, and there was no real road up into the saddle, up into that area, so access was poor. And so we don't have a lot of information recorded about how long it took for a transition to go from one or another, but, but we do believe the volcano is pausing. Um, the volcano is reinflating already, so there's a slight amount of inflation going on in the volcano. Uh, detected by our instruments, and that's a sign also that lava is not coming to the surface. It's staying within the magma chamber and starting to repressurize the magma chamber at this point. Um, just as a side note, uh, Kilauea volcano, also that eruption is also appears to be paused now fully. Uh, it started to pause uh, about three or four days ago. And we believe it's now in a full pause. The lava lake is stagnant and crested over at the summit of Kilauea. So it looks like both volcanoes are headed into uh, this lower activity, or perhaps both will be paused soon. So I'll turn it over to uh, Talmage now. Hi, good morning. Talmage Magna with Hawaii County Civil Defense. We just had our morning operations briefing. All operations will continue uh, based on the the lowering of the alert level, volcano alert level to watch. We will initiate planning as far as any scale down in operations, but always maintaining monitoring with HVOs that if things change, we'll be ready to ramp up as well. Um, so as I said, we're still operational. We will be for a few more days if this thing, if the activity continues to wane, um, you probably see some transition in our operations. Uh, we'd like to thank our partners for working with us and providing, you know, whatever mitigations we've had to throughout this event, um, and and we'll make changes as as need be. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Talmage. Are there any representatives from other partner agencies here to provide updates? Katie Denise with Hawaii Police Department. Um, last night in the in the area we had uh, eight traffic citations. They were all for speeding. So that's a reminder for people that uh, there is a reduced uh, speed limit within the lava parking area around uh, mile marker 28.5. We had uh, one minor traffic collision, uh, rear render, and then a report of a reckless driver. So again, just reminding people to drive safely and soberly during this holiday season. And that's all I have. Okay, um, if there aren't any questions, I think that will end our call today. Um, thank you again for the updates uh, and um, 
I think tomorrow we are unsure if we're going to do another press briefing. Um, if, if we do, there will be an email forthcoming. So thank you all uh, for participating and um, yeah, stay posted on whether or not we have one of these tomorrow. Um, mahalo and take care everyone. Thank you.